Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Amazon Kindle Fire, which is a 7-inch tablet, which normally comes with a customized version of Google Android based on software developed by Amazon. But today I wanted to show you custom software called MyUI 4.0, which is based on uh, Google Android 4.0. And you can see, first of all, when you power it up, that you've got a custom home screen application here. And so let's slide to unlock, and then we get to the desktop here. It has a look and feel that is not entirely unlike what you would get from other Android 4.0 software, such as Cyanogen Mod. There's a toolbar here at the bottom, which helps make up for the fact that there are no physical buttons on this device, so you can do the home button and the back button and so forth. And there's also a settings panel, which lets you remove, um, or a quick uh, settings panel, which lets you remove notifications, view additional settings, adjust screen brightness, and so forth. Actually, from here, we don't have screen brightness, but we have auto-rotate screen. Oh yeah, there's the brightness. Uh, notifications on and off, or we can go to the full settings panel. And here you can see that the theme has been modified so that we're looking at a much uh, brighter theme than the default uh, theme that you get with Google Android 4.0. So, uh, for instance, that's uh, it's much more white and orange and gray instead of black and blue. Uh, but the settings are actually pretty typical for an Android 4.0 experience. Uh, the home screen is really what sort of sets this apart though from a lot of other ROMs um, in that there's there's no app menu. There's nothing up here in the corner that you would hit to view a full list of apps. Instead, every time you install a new application, it winds up right here on the home screen in uh, these sort of big square icons. It looks a little bit like an iPhone in some ways, but the difference is that you can add widgets and customize it any way you like. Uh, to do that, you would just press and hold on the screen and then you have a list of available widgets or applications or other things down here at the bottom which you can drag onto the home screen or onto a different screen. And then when you're done you just hit the back button and there you go, so your widget's on the home screen. To remove anything here you would just drag it up to the top and there it goes. So it's, um, oh, and there's a custom dock down here at the bottom. So for instance, there's a phone application which really doesn't do much use here. This is an early build of, of My UI 4.0, which uh, has the phone capabilities built in, but, or a uh, phone application built in, but there's no phone capabilities on the device. So you can just drag that up and delete it if you want. Uh, okay, you can't actually delete that one because it's a system application, but you can remove it from the dock and put it somewhere else. So, um, overall, let's say a quick look at, at what you get here. There's a couple of custom applications as well, including a file browser. Uh, there's support for folders, and you can see that there's uh, tools, including a calculator and a theme engine, which lets you download different themes and, and change the look and feel a little bit. Uh, out of the box, it comes with certain apps preloaded, including the, the standard Google apps, including the Gallery application, for instance, and uh, uh, the Android 4.0 Movie Studio. There's also a calendar application and the Google suite of apps, including the Google Android Market, as well as Google Maps and Gmail. So uh, overall, that's pretty cool. There's uh, the Amazon App Store comes preloaded, so you can install um, different applications from Amazon, including the Amazon Kindle application. So you can treat the Kindle Fire like a Kindle Fire, um, even though it's running my UI instead of the uh, stock software. The um, web browser works reasonably well, although one thing that I've definitely noticed here is that screen rotation is a little bit wonky you get these sort of strange graphics glitches every time it rotates the screen. Um, but once once it is rotated, it's pretty quick and responsive, supports multi-touch gestures, multiple browser tabs, and so forth. And uh, another thing that I like here is that if you sign up for an account, you can also use a backup utility to uh, backup your settings, including your apps. Uh, looks like you can do a local backup even without an account, but if you want to use the cloud service to store your information online, then you would um, you need to sign up for a, 
an account. So uh, anyways, again, that's a quick look at the MyU 4.0 ROM based on Android 4.0 for the Amazon Kindle Fire. Uh, to install it, you would need to uh, root your Kindle Fire and install a custom recovery such as um, the uh, Twerp 2.0 custom recovery application or a uh, version of Clockwork Mod. And then you just download this from the web, put it onto your storage, and fire up the custom recovery and install it. Um, you can find more information on how to do that at lilliputing.com but I wanted to uh, shoot this video and just sort of show you what it looks like. It's, um, it's not necessarily everybody's taste. Uh, I, you know, I think I prefer being able to hide some of the applications instead of having them all on the home screen here, but it is an interesting take on the experience. This is definitely an early build of the software, though. Um, there are certain things that don't work. For instance, when you try to hit the recent apps menu, it crashes the um, home screen, and it takes a second for the bar to... Uh, the status bar to show up here again at the bottom. I've also noticed some other applications will crash. So, for instance, I downloaded the Google Chrome application, Google Chrome Beta Web Browser, from the Android market, and that's crashed on me a few times as well. So, not exactly perfect, but for the most part, it uh, it works pretty well for an early build of MyU 4.0 based on Android 4.0 on the Amazon Kindle Fire tablet. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.